This week on 3D Printed Soup, I've burnt my Bowden. Let's replace it. That's right after this. Hello fellow makers and welcome back to 3D Printed Soup. Now there's some important parts on your 3D printer. You've got your extruder for extruding your filament. You've got your hot end for melting your filament. And you've got your print bed for holding your filament in place and holding the print there as it slowly layers. But between those three items, you've also got the connector. You've got the Bowden tube. This piece of expanded plastic is a tube that goes from your extruder through to your hot end and carries the filament carefully round to make sure it goes in the right place and remains undamaged. But <coughs> Creality, God bless them, don't put the best quality Bowden tubes on the end of three. This thing is fairly shoddy and will eventually wear out inside or in the case of this one, just burn down and eventually melt. And this one is also snapped off here and here. So inside we've got the filament, which you can't get out of the tube. So I've taken this off. So I'm going to be replacing this cheap nylon tube with this lovely PTFE tube. And we've got cutters in there as well for snipping it so it stays nice and straight. So before I do this, however, thanks to everyone who's liked and subscribed. Welcome to the channel. If you haven't liked and subscribed, now's a really, really good time. Drag and drop your cursor down, find the subscribe button, give that a click and click the bell next to it. It doesn't ring, but it still lets you know when my videos are up and loaded. So click subscribe, click the bell, give me a thumbs up because it really helps the algorithm or hell the algorithm. And let's get on and replace our nasty plastic Bowden tube with a lovely PTFE tube from Capricorn. Other tubes are available. I put a link below for the one that I'm using. Let's give this a try. Okay, so here's the extruder and you've got the caliper there where it holds the filament in. Just open that up and you can see it's snapped off. That's a real pain because I can't get it out of the Bowden tube. So we're gonna have to remove the Bowden tube like so. Just give it a quick pull. Remove the blue catch there though, that holds it in. And there we go. We've got the tube free there. And yeah, as you can see, the filament is just inside there, so I can't get it out without lots and lots of faff. And quite frankly, it needs a new tube anyway, because this has been in there for a couple of years and that will have worn out quite badly. As you can see here, there's all kinds of bits coming off it and stuff. So yeah, this is definitely in need of replacement. So let's scoot in the front and remove it from the hot end now. Here we go. So we remove the blue tag like we did in the last one. Just get my fingers in there. Twist it around a bit. Take it out of the uh, zip ties that hold it to the cable. And then we should just be able to pop this off like so. There we go. Then we can depress the plunger. This plunger basically grips hold of the Bowden tube. So if you push it down and pull, it should come straight out without too much of a problem. He says. And there we go. And yeah, you can see the end there is burnt and melted on both ends. So yeah, this most definitely needs a replacement. And so yeah, I'm going to take this nylon tube and replace it with a PTFE tube. Link in the description below for the one I've used. And yeah, you can see down there it's blocked, it's melted. Definitely, definitely needs a replacement. And yeah, look, it's just damage all over this thing. And yeah, most definitely, definitely time to throw this one away. Get rid of that out of the fan as well. So this is what I have ordered. Oh, tear it open. And yeah, inside we have got, make sure there's nothing else in there. 
tear the top off it's in a ziplock bag keep it nice and dry and secure we've got all these replacement uh, gaskets for attaching the uh, Bowden tube to either end of the system one goes into the extruder and one goes into the hot end I've actually already got loads of spares of those so I don't need that then we've got this lovely little clipper here it's got a razor blade on there so it cuts the Bowden tube really cleanly watch your fingers with that it's very very sharp and here we have the Bowden tube itself it's bike reality so it's a you know it's a good one tear off the top and find my way into the zip lock bag and here's the tube itself it's all nice and smooth it feels fairly hard wearing as you can see the diameter of the tube is a little bigger than the uh, nylon one that originally came on it and also it's quite hard wearing so hopefully this should go through fairly easily we'll use the clippers here to uh, cut it straight down so you don't get any of this squeezing um, which you do if you use a pair of scissors and so it won't damage the tube at all and it won't squish it, it just cuts it straight here we go I've attached one end to the extruder I've threaded it through the uh, clips here and now I'm just going to basically give it a snip um, so it goes straight down into the hot end just make sure this is the right length don't want too much so it gets caught and stuff but don't want too little so that it uh, doesn't move all the way across the uh, y-axis so yeah make a few adjustments there right yeah that looks good yeah about there I reckon so I'll get miss get my cutters rest it carefully mark it and pop there we go a nice clean sharp cut now actually the uh, hot end there is actually deeper than you'd imagine it actually goes down quite a way into it so just make sure you haven't uh, cut off too little or too much in fact and there we go yep goes from one end to the other no problem at all and let's put the little clips back on one and two there we go all nicely fitted on there all good now just put the uh, filament back in you'll see I've cut it at a 45 degree angle so it's got a nice point to it so it should go straight in without a problem there we go down the Bowden tube until you feel resistance when it reaches the uh, hot end I've left mine cold so it should stop just when it reaches it now let's uh, prepare this heat PLA and heat PLA there we go it's got to 200 degrees in a second and then we can uh, thread the filament through and get this thing started and here we go pinch the extruder give it a push and there we go filaments going through nicely nice and smooth not getting stuck anywhere down the tube perfect now we need to do a benchmark to make sure this thing is printing correctly so let's start that up Okay, that's working really nicely. And yep, I printed out this lovely ghost ship benchy. I mean, yeah, you can print out the regular benchy, but I thought, hey, why not go for a cursed ghost ship benchy instead? That's a little bit of a change because I've got about a thousand benches printed out by now. And yeah, they're getting a bit dull. So yes, ooh, scary ghost ship benchy. Seriously though, 
get rid of the old plastic nasty one replace it with a lovely PTFE Bowden tube which is just silkier smoother tougher and it's going to basically mean that it's going to wear less and your filament will travel through this nicely between your extruder and your hot end and you won't have any problems with jams breakages or issues like that and yeah this is probably one of the best upgrades you can do to your ender 3 or 3d printer yes you can change the um, extruder arm you can change the hot end but actually changing the Bowden tube is a really really good idea on most cheaper 3d printers thanks for watching 3d printed soup don't forget to like and subscribe stay happy and stay safe keep printing